Welcome to Recipes at the Grateful Shed. Uh, we have another simple recipe for you here tonight. I know this is one that I have always heard the name, but I didn't know what it was. Uh, Woodrow and I were talking recipes a couple of days ago, and he mentioned to me that his mother fixed him gruel. Uh, and I didn't know what it was. And he explained it, and he has fixed this tonight, and I'm gonna kinda let him take the video here and explain it, uh, what it is. Okay, what we've got here is gruel. Uh, it goes back to the 18th century when they were trying to figure out a way, a cheaper way to feed the inmates that they had in prison and also to feed the orphans when they were short on things to eat. Please, sir, can I have some more? Okay, Oliver. <laughs> Don't need it all at one time. Uh, and then my mother in the 1940s when food was rationed, and we had a family of eight that my mother had to keep fed. She made gruel for breakfast. It was a cornmeal gravy that you poured over biscuits. And I'll to get, go ahead and give the ingredients there and how, how you make it there. Okay, right. you, take a, you take a quart of water, depending on how many servings you want to make, bring it to a bowl. You take a half a cup of cornmeal and stir it up in wet water to get to get it dissolved. I mean, in white and cold water to get it dissolved. Then you put it into boiling water and you season it to taste. In this, I've got salt and pepper, a little bacon grease, and some bacon bits. And uh, and it goes good as a gravy, or you can uh, put a little more water in it and make it into a soup. Well, that's good, Woodrow, and just know we're going to post this recipe in the comments down below the video, but I want to try some of this on that on that piece of chicken right there. I don't believe that'll run that, uh, but that, I just I just can't get over how creamy that cornmeal is and a gravy. I didn't know that. Let me just see how this is, him. Yeah. Man, that's as good as any gravy I've ever eaten. That's really good. It's simple to make. We'll give you the uh, ingredients down below in the comments. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for sharing our videos. And thank you for the many kind words. We love you, and we'll see you next time.